If you are an entrepreneur or you're in sales, the number one thing that is holding you back is that you are lazy. Whoa, Mark, I'm not lazy. I got all these things I have to do. You don't know how busy my business is. You don't know how hard it is to chase clients or to get them on the phone. Now, here is why you are lazy because we have become a lazy culture. Your clients expect you to do all the heavy lifting. They want you to do everything for them. They want you to do all the hard work. They want you to spec everything out. That's what they want from you. And so if you are not willing to do that, then you will not get all of the sales that you can get. You literally will drop people off along the process and you will not close everything that you need to close and keep everything online because you are not doing all the hard work for them. And so you're gonna say, that doesn't make me lazy, that makes them lazy. Now, you are lazy because you're not willing to do the work. It's not fair that when we're in a service-based industry or in sales or as entrepreneurs, we have to do all of our worrying for us and we have to do all of our clients worrying for them, right? It's a lot to carry. It's a lot to do. It's a lot to keep track of, but that is the reality of today. We have become an on-demand self-serve culture. People expect more than ever to be able to get exactly what they need when they need it and to be able to do it in a way where everything is figured out for them and everything is given. So for example, I run an agency. So when people call me up, if we do not answer the phone, if we do not respond right away, if we don't lead that entire process, but we wait for them, no one would ever move forward. Everything would always fall off and we would lose like almost every sale. So in my business, they wanna have a question answered. And so the classic thing is for them to say like, hey, vague, 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 uh, why don't you put something together for me and send it over? And so I have a few choices here. I'll either say, no problem, I'll put something together and send it off to you, but now I have to do all this work and they're not really that invested in it. Or I can say, no, I'm not gonna do that for you. You need to make sure that you're more qualified and, and this, and you have to meet these standards, you have to jump through these hoops, but they're not gonna do that and then now I lose the opportunity because I'm not willing to play the game. Or I can push back a little bit, but still agree that I'm gonna do all the hard work and follow up and everything for them. I got enough to do. I don't really wanna commit all this time and all this thinking and all these man hours towards a project. The chances are based on close rates that you know it's not gonna move forward. But if I don't do these things, if I don't lead people through the proper way and give them the time and the attention and the thinking, I don't even have the chance. I'm not even playing the game. And so this makes entrepreneurs and salespeople resentful. This upsets us that people don't value our time. You can either get upset about how things should be, or you can just face the reality that this is how things are. Here's a fantastic example of this. I wanna renovate my house. To renovate my house, we're gonna do an extension, which means we need to re-roof the entire place, and I wanna go with cedar shingles. I think it's gonna look amazing. But when I call up the roofing company and I say, hey, I'm looking for a quote for this, they have two options. They can come to my house, they can climb up on my roof, and they can measure everything out and walk me through what I should do and why I should do it and why it costs what it costs and do all the upsells and everything else. Or they can make me do all of the work. They can have me jump up on my roof and try to measure everything out. But here's the reality of it. I'm not gonna do any of that stuff. I'm not getting up on my roof to measure this thing out. And if you are the type of company who won't come to me and do everything that I explained in number one, I will not only not follow up with you, I will think you're not professional because you're not willing to do the work that you need to do to come and earn my business. So how do I know that when it comes time to actually renovate my house and do all the work, you're gonna have care and compassion and do a good job? If you won't even do that in the pre-sale process. And so this is what hurts your business so much. It's a combination of the fact that we live in a world where everyone expects things to be handed to them. It's not gonna change, it's the way it is. It takes a tremendous amount of time and care and thought to do things the right way for our clients and that we get resentful and bitter and angry about all the work we do for things that don't go forward. You have to wake up and you have to get real. This is the reality that we're facing. Sales isn't about convincing someone of something. It is about spotting the opportunity to help them get what they need or what they want. To be able to spot that opportunity, you have to be part of the conversation. You have to give them time. You have to give them energy. It is lazy to just treat things as an order taker. Someone calls up, I want this and this. You say, no problem, I'll give you this and this. You can't build and grow your business only on that. And so you have to be willing to give the time and the focus and the energy. And if you're not, you have to recognize that you're not gonna play the game and you're not gonna do that and you have to hire someone who will. Because one way or another, 
today and into the future, people are gonna expect more and more things gift wrapped for them in a nice little bow where they think that they're in control. But here's the thing, they're not in control. Because when you enter into the conversation, when you give people time, when you give them energy and focus, you are in fact in control of where and how you take them. So in my roofing example, yeah, it's an easier job for them, for me to do all the work and make all the decisions, but the person who takes the time to set up the appointment, to come by, to talk about different options. I don't know, do I need my roof resheathed? Do we need some kind of special frost barrier or mat? Is now the time, you know, in their experience when you're changing the shingles to also change my eaves troughs and downspouts? Could they have a warranty that would help me out? And all these things that I wouldn't even think about because they took the time, they took the energy to gift wrap everything for me. And so ultimately you can see this in one of two ways. You can decide to make things as streamlined and simple and high volume as possible knowing that you are literally losing people along the way. Or you can step up and give people the time they need, not get all bitter, not get all resentful, but care about the people, give them the time that they need so that way they can make an informed decision. Put yourself in control of the sales process and actually make the most of every opportunity you're presented. If you want to take your business to the next level by getting stronger at sales, at marketing, at branding, at speaking to people, at understanding your message, your purpose, and everything you need to do to crush it, well then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I release videos every day. Click on the bell icon so that way you can get the videos when they drop. Or you can check out this video right over here. It will change your life.